welcome. We are today going to go through the arena on Hearthstone. And yes. Let's just have a wee nosy at things. Very good. So, the arena. 150 gold. Uh, is it gold? I would assume it's gold. 150. So, yeah. Purchase complete. Right, so most recently I have been playing the Paladin. Um, I've been rather enjoying their cards of spells with the with the like double the attack and give a minion uh, plus four health and health uh, sorry health and attack which is very good so you know what we'll go with paladin will fight with honor. and now we are into our first choice of 30 um, so I quite like this uh, which is nice um, I've I don't even have a card in my deck. Uh, the five four four, a uh, gadgets and auctioneer. Whenever you cast a spell and draw a card, I can see how that could be beneficial. But this early on, I'm not too sure. And divine favor far left. And uh, draw cards until you have as many in hand as your opponent. Okay, that could be very good. When if you're making a very quick play at the start, but I've yet to use it, so I'm gonna go with what I know and keep the blessed champion. Okay, so we have from the left uh, one two one abusive sergeant um, battle cry. Give a minion plus to attack this turn. Now the downside of this is very contextual, well th again this is all personal opinion, I don't have any stats up, I don't have anything up at all, and hopefully when I play this more I will be able to read, uh, I will read more and gain what, you know, what the pros are doing basically, but <laughs> um, I think Abuse of Sergeants are very contextual. Um, Tarn Warrior, Taunt and Rage plus the attack. Uh, very, very expensive taunt for you to attack. And then we have Reckless Rocketeer, which is just, please take something high off the field. Alright. Not sure. You know what? We'll go with the Abusive Sergeant. I can get something off the field pretty quickly. Uh, okay. I rather enjoyed this card. Because, you know, taunt. Sorry, I shouldn't have whizzed through that choice, but uh, I think it was on the far left. It was the, the one had a death rattle of uh, giving the hero two damage, and then I can't even remember what was on the far left. I don't like Murlocs at the moment. Um, I don't see them being extremely good in an arena deck. Um, on the far left, Blessing of Wisdom. Choose a minion whenever it attacks. Draw a card. Uh, well, that could be your minion or their minion. I'm going to go with Blessing of Might, uh, which is giving a minion plus three attack, because, again, it's what I've been playing with most recently. Okay, next up, we have one of the best cards in the game. Um, the Sinjin Shieldmaster. Um, four, three attack, five with the taunt. Hooray! We have a shield bear um, with no attack. See, that could work well if I have Blessing of Might, but again, it's very contextual, and it would give me quite a good thing. You know, for two mana cost, I would have a three attack and four health with a taunt, but this one just works, you know, so much all the time, so it's a hard working card. Holy Light, restore six health, pretty good. Uh, one 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 with charge. Couldn't see that working out too well. And spell damage plus one. And quite a lot of the spells as far as far as I've played, and um, the spells for for uh, Paladin um, aren't really, you know, attacking. They're more for buffing. So I'm gonna go with Holy Knight. Alright, bear with me a moment here. Just gotta double check on the stream, make sure everything's okay. Oh, 
Okay, there we go. Everything seems to be running fine. It seems to be running fine, but we'll soon see. Um, Silverhand Knight. I do. I do not think I have this in my in my book of cards, so I'm not used to it. Um, so it's a five four four and summon a two two squire. Um, when first launched on the field, which that can that can be pretty good. Uh, Darwolf Alpha. You would need to have other minions out on the field for that to be fully effective. Adjacent minions have plus one attack. And Guardian of Kings. Restore 6 health to your hero. 756. So it's actually a weaker card, but the Battle Cry sort of raises up. That's again very contextual. Um, otherwise, Darwolf Alpha is less so because, you know, you've got a 2 2 2. It's not, not a brilliant cost but it's not terrible either and then 544 with a 2-2 two -two. Mm. where are we sitting should we have should we try and make some end game or should we go with a bit of okay well I will go I'm just gonna go with the direwolf alpha again it's gonna be it work well if I have use of sergeant out and then I throw down the direwolf alpha so you know sergeant gets three and then Darwolf Alpha. Uh, no, it's a battle cry. You know what? Silverhand Knight. Puts two minions on the field. Um, Hand of Protection, give a minion divine shield, which I have found works very, very well. Um, you know, uh, when you're doing like double minions attack and things like that, um, you know, improving the minion stats, you can stick on a hand of protection and have those stats hopefully roll over for another turn, which is very nice. And um, we have a 333 Earthen Ring Farseer. Farseer? Uh, Battle Cry Restore 3 Health. Again, contextual, and it's very normal in regards to mana cost. And then we have another Guardian of the Kings. And restore six health. So that's contextual again. Granted, um, all of these are contextual, but I'm going to go with hand of protection because I can, I can do a little bit more with that. You know, depending on what the game is. Uh, Tarn warrior again with taunting and rage. Small man. Uh, sorry, uh, small attack for the mana cost. We have spiteful smith. Okay, this is the first time I've encountered this card, you know, to read on my own hand. Uh, 5, 4, 6, which isn't bad. Enrage. Your weapon has plus 2 attack, so you can always try and poke him from your own side. And then we have Hammer of Wrath. I like... I rather like Hammer of Wrath. And I always like to have maybe at least one in my deck. So... Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Oh, so we've got a Murloc, which again, I think you could really do. I think you could really build a class Murloc deck. I have yet to try and figure out all that what all they they could be. Um, I just don't like them right now, so skip over that. Um, then we have a three three three, Aldor Peacekeeper. Battle cry change an enemy's minion attack to one. Contextual, but kind of nice. You know, if you had like a, you know, Gurbashi Berserker or something out, um, which can which can very very you know quickly dominate a field. So you could always change the minion's attack to one, and that's sort. Of, I think that would nullify. You know, it would be something like a silence really on it. And Emperor Cobra, 323, three, destroy any minion damaged by this minion. I like the idea of the Peacekeeper. Seems seems nifty, at the least. So I'm going to go with that. Oh, Consecration. Sorry. <laughs> I've got two of those in my deck at the moment. I rather like them. Shattered Sun Cleric, I don't think is a bad card, but I wouldn't say it's great either, because of the you know the health. You would definitely need something out in the field. Otherwise, Acolyte of Pain. I've seen other people play this and get used well, but I haven't seen seen it used very well with a Paladin. So I'm still going to go with my Consecration. There's that Holy Light again. I'm not too sure. What are we? We're on card 11. 
Sorry, we have 11 cards, so we're on card 12. You know what? I think in Holy, Holy Light, just to get another health in there. And then we can focus down, because we're, of course, going to get minions later. Well, I say that like... Uh, Mana Addict, I know you cast a spell again, plus to attack this turn. And... Remove one durability from your opponent's weapon. Very, very contextual. You know, I'm gonna try out the Divine Favor. Haven't used a Mana ad Addict. Oh. Arcane Golem. Charge. Oh. Is that a... Is that a sacrifice that I, I'd be willing to make? Give your opponent a mana crystal? Or should I just do divine favor again? Na, 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 na. Divine favor. Go with that. Ah! More context. Context heal, context destroy, but... See, it's still got three attack. I like that. I do like the fact that it, you know, you could pop it out and it still got. It, it could take quite a lot of things off the field in round two. I'm going to take this. The other one, Frost with Grant two 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 with a taunt, I think could be good in early game. But you know, like, that's where you can take the hits, you know, to the face. So I take that. Equality. Change the health of all minions to one. Uh. Ancient mage. Give adjacent minions spell damage. Well, spell damage again. I'm a paladin. I don't really have many of those at the moment. So, a knife juggler. 2-3-2. Two, two. Not bad. After you summon a minion, deal one damage to a random enemy. You could take him out at round two, and then we'd have three. Hmm. You always deal one damage to two different ones, and maybe the battle cry that one. Hmm. I'm unsure again. I've yet to use any of these cards. I don't have any of these in my deck. Or, I should say, in the in the folder, in my collection. Um, hmm. See, I could see either of those working out pretty well, but I'm going to go with the, with the minion. Okay, so, a Booty Bay Bodyguard. A 5-5-4. Five, five, um... Don't really use that very often. Um, four health, for, you know, with a taunt. It could work very well in conjunction with other cards. Like, for example, do I have any actually? Um, no, I don't just yet. There's one that gives you a plus four four. You know what? I'm going to go with the consecration. And it's very good to, to use when you're backed up into a corner. Okay, we have Storm Pike Commando, a 5-4-2 with a dir direct 2 damage. Shattered Sun Clerk, which I'm probably going to go with, because it gives them friendly minion 1-1. One, one. And, you know, it's a 3-3-3, three, 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 so that's pretty standard. And Mad Bomber, I do not like so much random chance with that one. So, I'm going to go with Sun Clerk. We have Light Justice, which is, eh, ground. If you have an early game, you know, you can take out a couple of minions using your face. Um, Cult Master, whenever one of your the minions dies, draw a card. It's only got two health, though. And then we have in the middle here, Dark Iron Dwarf of 444, and give a minion plus to attack this turn. You know what? I'm happy with that. Right, we have two Murlocs, so already I don't really want to go for that. Abomination, 5-4-4. Four, four. Taunt, Death Rattle. 
it's quite a harsh death rattle, but I could see it working out quite well. Okay, abomination. And now we have 20 cards in our deck. Stormwind Champion. Give minions plus one one. It's a, basically a later game Shattered Sun Cleric. Um, except it applies to more than just one. I'm going to go with this one. Um, because, they, again, that's that early charge just really, you know, you're sort of just trading the boar off. So, that's good. Uh, we have Divine Shield. I... Um, I haven't, I've never seen this card. Uh, I don't have this one either. Um, Silver Moon Garden. Divine Shield, 433. In the middle here we have an Office Engineer, 211. With a draw card, which is nice. If anyone likes more cards. <laughs> then we have a 454 Ancient Brewmaster. Return a friendly minion. Hmm. I think more cards. Okay, earlier I didn't like the look of Cult Master. I um, I couldn't see it working out really well with the you know with the two health here. Um, we have a dirty pirate. Again, you know context when you have charge when you have a weapon equipped, and this will be my first weapon, and I'm going to take this one because I actually like it can take things off or deal direct damage. Um, right, so we have... Gai Gadget and Auctioneer 544. Four. Whenever you cast a spell, draw a card. Five... Oh, that could work at turn five. Emperor Cobra. Destroy any minion damaged by this minion. It's probably a trade-off on a 441. Gain plus one health for each card in your hand. Oh, that could work well after using um, Divine Favor. You know what? I'm going to try out this tri Twilight Drake. Alright. Um, Murloc, eh? Uh, noble Sacrifice. When an enemy attacks, summon a 2 1 defender as the new target. And Iron Forge Rifleman. Deal one damage. You know what? Let's try to sacrifice. <laughs> uh, I don't generally use secrets, and. Yeah, might as well. How much early game do we have? Um, spell, 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 spell. Sergeant. Acidic Swap Ooze. And then. Should I go with... Oh, sorry, this is an Ancient Squire, a 1-1-1 with Defined Shield. Um, I like Defined Shields. Um, they're nice. But, I think today we are going to go with another Shattered Sun Cleric. Four more cards. Um, we have a Taunt, which is always good. Dread Crosshair Taunt. Costs one less per attack of your weapon. Hmm. Always, that's a minion that I could play straight after having that out, but you know, that is a 1 in 30 chance of making sure I have that. Well, wouldn't be that small, but again, regardless. And then we have this two taunt. Um, we're looking later game that we don't have. You know what? Gonna try that. Stealth is always good. Deal a direct 5 damage. Um, to whatever, you know, you still have that turn. Generally, I should say. Redemption. When one of your minions dies, returns to life with one health. Sounds nice. See, again, I'm not a big fan of this random. You know what? I'm gonna go with the stealth. Two more cards. And we finally get a Chillwind Jetty. 445. Very nice for that area of the game. There's our, there's that two, two, two uh, taunt, frost wolf grunt, and loot hoarder, who I do not have and will probably not play very much. It is a draw card with the one health, but yeah, 
if I wanted to draw a card, I think I'd always go for the um where are we? No novice engineer. And oh, is this my last card? We have a choice between ew, ew, and fine. It's probably going to be an Emperor Cobra with uh, destroy any minion damaged by this minion. Um, you can I can see it working with you know maybe putting the divine shield on something and running it into something else or increasing its health, but again. This would be completely useless to me because again I've avoided all Murlocs and Blood Seal Crosshair. Remove one durability from your opponent's weapon, and I don't know who I'm gonna face against. So boop. And that is our deck. I am not incredibly pleased with the deck, but we need to see how it plays. There's a few cards that I've never played in that before, so we'll just need to see. And, of course, another worthy opponent. <laughs> and we have a priest. Okay, that's too many spells in round one. Um, I'm thinking, take out this and this. This can be used if everything gets out of hand. Um, this is, I, I usually use the Divine Shield later on in the game when I have big heavy hitters. And I'm sure this will come up again. <laughs> Extra cards. Oh, well, and we get traded for our other shields. Sorry, not shields, spells. Oh, oh, and more spells. Maybe, maybe I took too many spells. Uh, okay, let's just end the turn. Not a move that we can do. Holy Light I usually reserve for later on in the game. Consecration's nice. Um, it's good to have. Again, we're just going to summon our 1 1 Silver Hand and probably poke him if he doesn't put anything out. And we'll end the turn. Again, this is a new card to me. I've never played Divine Favor before. And what has he done? Fairy Dragon. Yes, thank you. I know it's my turn. Can't be targeted by spells or hero powers. Oh, well, that's, that's a few things out. Change an enemy tax to one. You know what? We're gonna run with this straight off the bat. Give that to that. Um, we're not gonna trade that yet. More than likely he's gonna try and take that out, which means he'll be on one health and well, we can take that out with something else. Or even just run the peacekeeper and take the one hit on that. See what happens. Starting turn. Hmm. Right, we are on four. So we have none of that. Now we get rid of this and put this down to two, which then I can put that on. Um, using up all my manas. Mm. Could do that. Could whip out this. Pop that. Off. And then take this out. Okay, I'm happy enough with that trade-off. So yeah, that means that I still have a 4 attack. I will probably just see what he plays first. Um, if, if it's nothing impressive, I might just use the 4 to get him down a bit so he stops using his lesser heal. Or sorry, so he uses his lesser heal more and more when he's got nothing to do. Gain one health for each card in your hand. So after I play that, it would get one, two, three, four, five. Is that on top of it? So you'd have six? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go with that. Six. It's quite nice. Three for that. And you know what? I'm gonna just keep this, um, keep this on. You know, if it gets destroyed, it gets destroyed, but uh, I don't think there's no any point running running his health down to yet. Copy two cards from your opponent's deck and put them into your hand. My deck? Uh, I suppose that's, that's a bit better than him just randomly knowing two things out of my hand. Restore to health again. Fine. 
Oh, I'm curious. I'm very curious now what he has because that is. He's got nine cards in his hand. Draw cards too. So I could play. Four. Hmm. I don't think there's any point in playing this Let just yet. Think. You know what? Give it a. Give it a bit of that. Uh, let him. Let him. Stick out a minion. Because you know what? We have the option. We don't have any cards apart from restore 6 health, and there's no need to do that. And. I still have my weapon. I don't know what he's doing. I say he. It's a it's a person. Swiss Swiss tack style. Um three. Hmm. I must move quickly. Twelve. Twelve and four. You know what? I'll do the damage. Because next turn, if he doesn't take anything off the board, that means he is down to six. If he takes nothing off the board, that is. Which will be kind of ridiculous. I couldn't see him doing that. See them doing that, sorry. There we go, there's something off the board, finally. We could use Consecration, get get that get that minion off the board straight away, you know, and take two and he would take two damage as well. Reducing that lesser heal down to nothing. Um how many cards do you have? Eight. He's got eight cards. And I have seven mana, so three. So they could as consecration him out. Play that to get how many cards? He has eight, so he'd get an extra four cards. And then just attack him for nine. You know what? Let's do that. Shapoopy! Down to 18. I get an extra four cards. Nice. Okay. Oh, lovely. And that's okay. I love this card. I really, really do. Um, yeah, we'll attack him for nine. If he doesn't do anything again, he'll be out of the, out of the running. Um, so how many? He's got nine cards. I'll, I'll have eight mana next turn. Um, okay, Emperor Cobra. Um, started your turn, restore three health to damage enemy character. So he's healing for two, and then. Oh no, is he? Yeah, he is. He uh, leaves him with zero mana. I don't think he has has anything. So I've got eight. Would I have kill? Uh, eight, nine, so I need two. And I've got my other consecration. You know what? Let's... So that'd be two. Yeah, I think that would work. Should work. Don't do something silly while I... while I well <laughs> move them forward. I don't I don't know what that person was doing there straight off the bat, but um Yeah, it, it seemed to just want to hold on for cards. But my well, first win. Whoa, that is a lot of force. I did not notice that mana curve while I was <laughs> building. But I suppose that's okay. It means that on turn eight you can play two cards, etc. Um, okay, play one more. Does that see that first round seemed to go okay. Dun -dun -dun. So I have uh, six hundred and thirty gold. We definitely get one deck, as far as I'm aware, out of this. So um, basically, I'm paying fifty gold. For the fun of doing the arena, which, well, honestly, it is pretty fun. Um, but I was thinking earlier that I need to get a few new cards. There seem to be a lot that not a lot of cards that I am encountering during the arena play that I've never seen. Holy light, useless and start game for me generally. Uh, 
don't have one of those, and I'm going to keep the Chillwind Yeti, so that makes sure that we have that on turn four. That's okay. Um, again, a half decent card with a good, uh, what is it? A good battle cry. Hmm. But again, mana cost one. I got nothing. So two. Um, I don't know whether I would play. I could play that, and if they don't do very much, I they could play Sun Cleric, give it up one one. So that would be a a four three instead of you know just having a one one out in the board. So yeah, we'll do that. I know generally he, as I they would get a um, a weapon of some sort of you know some sort while while going three, but I don't know. I think we'll I think we'll go for the the four damage straight off the bat. Oh, hey, very good. It's nice to see that. So we'll do that and give that well. to him. Or Swamp Edigoo, I don't know <laughs> whether it would have any sexual organs or not. But that's four damage, that's good. Nice off the bat. And then if he if the person doesn't do any anything then then we've got an instant uh seven damage on mana count four. And then I could get I could get either Chillman Yeti out or bring out my weapon and have that round to go. Okay, knife juggling after. Oh, angry chicken. Hmm. You know what? We got a consecration. Might as well. Early game. An extra two damage off him. <laughs> uh, might not have been the best move, but I just couldn't help myself. That angry chicken, I... I'm unsure how that one properly plays. I've seen I've seen it lose lots of things. Oh, well, clear the board, and that gives us we can either put two out or we can protect ourselves. But he's still got his steady shot, which is still going to deal two damage. So I think let's just Squire, attend me. fill up our side of the board a little bit more, and then we'll put out the shield master. I think. That would give us two, so we could actually put the shield master out and either do that or this. I think. What is this? Stampeding Kuru. A 5 3 3. Destroy a random enemy minion with two le. Okay, so that that's all done. Which is nice. Um, five health. Okay. Hmm. We'll do that. First of all. See if it hits. What's what's gonna hit? Uh, deal one damage. Hmm. To battle. To battle. And I think we'll try and protect Silverhand Knight for one the more turn. Bingo. Try and, and then that takes that out, which is quite nice. Okay, so we have the board, but they have lots the of cards. Anyway. I'm assuming they're going to cast a spell now. Yep, yeah, of course. <laughs> Cost one less per attack of your weapon. Ah, should we? Should we? I think that makes it free, and then we still have three mana crystals, so we could get an extra card. We'll do that. <laughs> we'll do that. That'll, that'll be hopefully. Yep. See zero. Um, pop that pirate out. Oh. Should I? Should I? I will. Come on. Hit it again. Hit it again. Hit it again. Ah! Oh. <laughs> um, let me cast a spell. Draw a card. So four, 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 and that's two. You know what? For justice. Take it on the chin. This one is. I must move quickly. Hey, 
I'll take that on the chin too. Sort of mulled around for that one, didn't I? Sorry. Wanted to. Oh, that clearly. I had a lot of turns to make. Destroy a random enemy minion. That's. Um, a Silverback Patriarch for a 1 4. Um. We'll trade. We can trade my Silver Hand Knight to get rid of that, or we can. Oh, okay. I I guess. I guess that one went well too. <laughs> okay. Um. Very very happy with that deck. Not not that I not that uh. I chose well. I'm just I'm just happy that we have two wins so far in the bank. And I think that'll be us for today. I um, need to go get something to eat. So, again, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I hope everyone has a very nice day. Toodaloo!